Using Wi-Fi without NordVPN could mean sharing your private stuff with more people than you think. NordVPN. Online security starts with a click. Get the Crypto.com Visa card. You can use this wherever Visa is accepted all over the world. Make sure you use my link to get a $25 bonus when you register. Link in the description below. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Crypto Rich. I'm with Tom and with Alex Mercurius from the Duran. And this is uh, once a month we usually do this. And I get Tom and Alex together and we talk macroeconomics and macro politics and what is going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Tom, Alex, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for making yourselves available. No problem, Rich. Well, as, as always, it's, it's, always, it's always a great, always a great pleasure. I always like, love to get, catch up with Alex. Yes, yeah, yeah and too. me too. I have to say, it's a joy to catch up with Tom. Yes, and and you, magic and you, Rich. Thank you, thank you. No magic. But I, honestly, if it wasn't for Rich, like Alex and I wouldn't would rarely ever get together because it's like you actually put this stuff together, and then we mm-hmm. actually have to try and you know figure other ways of talking to each other because mm-hmm. Alex is overscheduled. I'm overscheduled. So yeah. it is what it is. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the first thing to say is, as I said, they must have been listening uh, uh, to Tom, to Tom's advice to them, because as far as I can tell, they've been doing all the things that he basically said they should be doing. I mean, they've been working to link the ruble to gold and mm-hmm. they've been lo- working to link the ruble to uh, our commodities. The ruble has stabilized. That, by the way, is the biggest single story of the last two months. Make no mistake, there's been a lot of damage done. Yeah. Okay, I, I, oh, I yeah. wanted to, I wanted oh, yeah. to spell mm-hmm. any, 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 any mm-hmm. ideas here that the Russians haven't made any mistakes militarily, mm-hmm. financially, or anything else. Yeah. What they are operating under is an unprecedented level of hybrid war from multiple vectors. Yeah. And the yeah. fact that they're still standing is impressive, but it does not mean that they do not have problems going forward. What they're going to need to do quickly is allow for investment within Russia to mm. um, to at, at the ground level to really start to take off. That means they're going to have to allow foreign investment, but they're not going to be able to allow foreign investment from quote unquote unfriendly countries. Yeah. It's going to have to come from China. Yes. It's going to have to come from other yes. places. Yes. And that's the way they're going to get out of this. But the truth is, is that I've been saying from the beginning, you are mm. the only country, major economy in the world that runs a current account deficit, a trade surplus, and you know, and is and and is and has a clean balance sheet with almost no debt. Well, where do you think global capital is going to flow, dude? Do you think it's going to flow to the West? Do you think it's going to flow to yeah. freaking India? Do you think it's going to flow yeah. to Turkey? No, it's going to flow to Russia. I've always yeah. said for five years I've been saying the Russians. I, I've told people to buy the Russian stock market because what's going to happen is it's going to be a destination for for capital flow as Europe starts to collapse. So, yes. and and what is absolutely terrifying, and I have to say this, it's been. Watching it in Europe has been, frankly, shocking. Is the is the way in which there is this sort of des- desire, almost to this demented rush, to get there ever faster? Yeah. Because the Russians are still standing, we have got to do every every you know, more and more and more and more. You know, cut off coal, cut off oil, cut off gas, cut off steel, cut off metals, cut off this, cut off that. And, yeah. you know, uh, no regard with what's going on in the internal, well, the European is it any economy. Different? And it's shocking. Well, if you mm-hmm. think about it, Alex, is, is it any different than the way they reacted to COVID? When Russia pegged the ruble to gold, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is it. This is it. I looked in the Guardian a few days later. I found a couple of lines tucked away. Sure. Yeah, it does. Doesn't matter whether he's successful or not. Doesn't matter whether he's trolling us or not. Doesn't matter whether he's made money off of this or not. What Elon Musk has done already is won, because what he did was he forced the board of Twitter to to admit that Twitter itself is the poison pill of society, while they adopt their financial poison pill again to stop Elon Musk. They have admitted that they care more about the control system and response engine generated that Twitter is. And it's far more important to them than their fiduciary interests and their fiduciary responsibilities as the board of a public company. It's certainly a Le Pen victory in France would be an astonishing event. I mean, it would echo Mm -hmm. around the world. I just wanted to add something, uh, and it flows directly from something that you were saying, um, um, Tom, about, you know, you find people who will sell Russian oil for you. You could just re- change the label. Mm-hmm. And I did wonder while you were saying that whether perhaps the people who might do that would in fact be the Saudis. <laughs> now, the reason I say this, and I, I'm going to say this, yeah. I don't and, think 
that's gonna happen, but it's hilarious. Go for well, it. Well, I'm well, like, well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm all, I'm all ears, Alex. I am all ears.